I'm Ali Schenken. I'm a postdoctoral researcher here at the University of Oxford in the School of Geography and Environment. I'm Toby, I'm uh, just finished my PhD here in the Ecosystems Lab with Ali and Yadmita. I work on um, mechanics of trees, looking at tall trees and what limits their height. I'm Professor Yadvinder Mali, I'm Professor of Ecosystem Science at Oxford University. We, we had a project um, that really started about 20 years ago, where we were looking at the lost forests um, over down and back um, in Kaba, Malaysia. We were going to Malaysia in June, early June of 2018, to investigate the architecture of trees across many of the rainforests there. So we were never looking for the tallest tree. We went to the region because it had some tall trees. Uh, we had heard there is a large tree uh, that had recently been found by some researchers at Nottingham. The key thing about the, the tree is, okay, so it's in the LiDAR data, uh, but we know that um, any remote sensor data needs validated. So the, um, the key thing is the, the collecting ground data that you can then associate with the, uh, the remote sensor data. So, the terrestrial LiDAR um, capture, but also um, having literally a tape measure of the uh, measurement of the, the tree is really important. Um, and it was quite a trek. It was uh, three grueling hours up and down hills and slipping. I still have scars from it. And uh, finally, uh, we made it there. Uh, our team of Malaysian researchers and assistants were, were fantastic um, and it was quite a trek. I've seen lots of what I thought were tall trees working all around the tropics around the world but when I walked up to this giant um, your head just kind of keeps going up and up as you try to see the top. I've never seen a tree quite like it. Um, so Unding uh, climbed the tree in 2019 in January um, and you know, it took him a while because it's a big tree, it's a, you know, it matches that 100 metre uh, mark um, and uh, he, would be, he was able to verify the fact that indeed it's the, uh, uh, the tallest tropical tree and we think the tallest angiosperm, i.e. flowering tree in the world. We set up our terrestrial laser scanner, um, which uh, we use for our work looking at tree architecture. The 3D phone cards are really interesting because we get um, really detailed information about tree structure. And I uh, sent our drone up through the canopy, winding up uh, uh, to above this tree and flew around this tree to get as much data as we could to fill out the, the 3D model of it. Um, getting it back down was uh, not easy. Um, finally, we managed to just before it, uh, it had kind of crashed, um, but uh, we, got, we got it down in time and um, yeah, made our way back and did end up catching our flight. One of the really interesting things that this discovery of this tall tree in Borneo has opened up is a question about how tall can trees get? So we 
measure these trees with these LiDAR instruments, with terrestrial LiDAR, to build 3D models where we can literally see the tree in our computers in 3D space and measure them very precisely in ways that otherwise we would have to climb the tree to do or fell them to do. Um, and so we're able to understand much more about the architecture of these trees, the structure of them, the function in terms of hydraulics and what makes these trees uh, really function in the way that they do. I think the, the key thing about this is that although um, I'm really excited about the fact that I'm associated with this tree now, at the end of the day it's about um, the science telling us that these trees do exist, they are, you know, they're reaching heights that we perhaps have never uh, anticipated. Um, and there will be other trees out there that we haven't discovered that, uh, you know, that will be discovered because the more we study these, uh, these beautiful trees, the more we do discover them out. But it tells us that we do need to protect these trees. It's also in really beautiful shape. You figure that a tree this big and old must be...